If you have not tried GitHub SpecKit yet, this will absolutely change how you write code with AI. It's a set of experimental templates with a CLI called Specify that supports many agents like Copilot, Cloud Code, Gemini CLI, and even Cursor. You can also use this across platforms on Windows or Linux to bootstrap your project and then use it with your agent of choice to build code using specifications. The templates bootstrap by the CLI enable you to use different commands, like the specify command to actually define the what and the why of your project. This is your PRD, the product requirements document that outlines what the project is about. You're not focusing on the technical aspects, it's just the motivation and the outline. And what it's gonna do is gonna essentially bake in the prompt and then generate the spec for you. You just need to wait for it a little bit. It's gonna use a built-in template and then a constitution document. The spec is gonna contain all of the things that you would expect from a PRD, including things like functional requirements. If you're a product manager, this will be familiar for you. With the spec done, now you can use the plan command to outline the technical requirements. This is where you can tell it the libraries you wanna use, the framework, or maybe some constraints, like you wanna make sure that the tests are written ahead of your code. All of the technical requirements are not in the spec. They go into the plan. So you can use slash plan to do that. Now we're gonna wait a little bit for it to execute this and you'll see that it will also create a bunch of additional information around the plan. Things like data contracts is going to research additional metadata about the frameworks and tooling that you're using to make sure that you have the best decision-making process in place. Also, it's gonna outline things like the quick start and the components that your project is going to use. If you are a technical engineering leader, you will see this as a familiar aspect of the planning process as well. And all of this is captured in markdown files. All of this is very easily readable and maintainable, even if you want to come in and manually edit things. With the technical requirements done, now you can use slash tasks to break this down into manageable chunks that the AI agent can go and implement one by one. Slash task is also gonna create a markdown file that is going to contain every single task grouped by specific phases. So your agent can tackle them individually and you don't actually need to manually track this. It's all gonna be done automatically. You'll see the list of tasks. You'll see them as checkboxes. You'll be able to actually track the agent progress as you go through the task. And if you're satisfied with the list of tasks, it's now time to just implement this. And all you need to do is tell the agent to implement the task. That's it. That's spec kit with specify.